okay in this uh, put your learning into practice series for chapter one i am now beginning officially beginning on a business idea that you know i'm i don't have it in my mind but i'm just using it as an example okay um uh, cakes by crystal this is an example that i am using how to create your own home-based cake selling business okay supposing you are very good in art supposing you're very good in developing you know unique uh, sculptures and models and you decide to apply your skills in cake making because you know it's it's much easier relatively easier to get the cake uh, the the cake the taste and texture of the cake right as compared to the uh, sculpture right you know the sculpture is the hardest part to get right and it has to look very beautiful and professional and it has to look appealing and attractive and it has to be of uh, standard quality so that people are uh, people are willing to buy your cakes now many people have started this home based business and it's a very roaring uh, you know successful business here in uh, norfolk in virginia i know of this business and this lady here she creates her own cakes at home and she also sells them online okay and this is her basic website and it's a very successful business and it is they say she says that it is delicious you can contact them usually they do wedding cakes okay there are other cake types as well which they're not doing it which means that you know if she's successful as a wedding cake person you can always create if you are in the same market as her you could do a birthday party cake for teens for children you know young children for for youth and uh, office and all of that so you know theme based birthday party cakes so this is about us page in which they write about their mission and vision and goals okay okay so this person they converted their hobby into business and we are fully licensed with the city of chesapeake and and virginia department of agriculture so they put up their license very clearly on the page this is their gallery of images supposing you are a potential buyer you would first thing you would do is after you check the licensing if that's important for you uh, you go and check out the images available okay so these are the cakes that crystal has built over the years since 2010 and it looks like an impressive picture impressive list okay uh, uh seems like she uh, is uh, very good with the tear cake okay now why am i showing this to you is because i'm trying to tell you that this is something not uh, done by a big company this is simply done by you know a person who had a hobby or had a knack for cakes and she decided to open up her business and it's running successfully okay having your passions converted into business is one of the greatest ideas greatest way to get yourself uh, launched because then people know that you know this is something that you love to do and you would definitely put your heart and mind into it and they want to invest in people like you but like you know passionate like crystal so uh, this is simply photos taken with a simple camera put up on the website and uh, you know just a template available on the website i will show you in a minute how a minute how to do that okay uh, weddings and weddings with cupcakes I think they're all beautiful uh, people love to have a piece uh, this one is so cute beecher beechers and this is all homemade home based nothing professional going on all the pictures are home based they're not the best pictures here I can see a lot of flaws in the pictures but the cake themselves are the are, are beautiful okay they're very attractive and appealing you can see a lot of hard work in them birthdays okay again tear cake there's a theme going on for tear cakes okay we have some really nice cakes here okay why am i showing this to you i'm only showing this to you so that i can demonstrate how i am going to create this from scratch okay i'm i'm going to create a local uh 
since I live in the UAE right now, a UAE based cake business. Okay. And I'm going to put it up here live. All right. The other thing that I wanted to show you was how she placed places orders pricing. Most important thing. Okay. Buttercream $5 per serving, fondant $6 per serving, delivery setup is based upon location. And she, okay, for all custom cake orders, there is a minimum of $50 minimum. All stacked cakes start at $125. Notice the kind of. All right, so what I was saying is that look at the pictures, they're not very attractive and professional, but still, this business is doing very well. I know that. And the reason is because of the quality of the service provided and the way they, you know, she interacts with the customers. So they have flavors, they have, uh, you know, white cake, yellow, French vanilla, almond. All people need to do is just look at the cake flavors and frostings and fillings and then talk about the theme. That's how you place an order. Okay. And you can contact them. Okay. Tuesday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. to noon. All of these is, uh, you know, information is provided. And to place an order, the person is taken to a new page. Okay, terms and conditions are provided. Okay, this is awesome. And she has provided a form here. Okay, and all the information that you need to do, what kind of cake is it? It's a birthday cake and date is, for example, okay, I'm not going to place this order. But I'm just showing you what, how it works. For example, the cake is supposed to be delivered by 30th of, of June. Uh, time of the event, <clears throat> it's at 10 a.m. The birthday party, number of servings needed. I have uh, 20 children. Uh, delivery or pickup, I would like, to, would like it to be delivered. Delivery address provided, for example. And design theme, I need a theme called the Lego theme for boys. And it has to be a square shaped cake and flavor should be chocolate. This is all e-business. None of this is being inquired over the phone. None of this is being asked on the phone or in person or in a shop. All of this is done in the comfort of their own homes using a computer. Okay, and this is precisely what you are going to create with me in this course. So you have a buttercream for uh, frosting, you have filling, colors, wording, okay, happy birthday, whatever you want to write, comments, and uh, very nice. There is a place for file upload. Okay, please look at the image. I want exactly the same thing. Please look at the image. I want a different color. Please enter any two digits. For example, why is this? Because a lot of, um, uh, we're going to talk about this. This is a security question. Uh, because a lot of uh, computer viruses or uh, the, you know, bots, the search engine bots, they are actually robots that fill out forms and create fake orders. Okay. But robots cannot read any information and write about it. Most of the programs cannot do that. Most of these uh, malware, or uh, you know uh, hacking programs or the you know cyber security issues all of these things all these programs they cannot read in information and write it down so just to prove that a human being is filling out this form they asked to enter any two digits for example 12 i enter 23 and i submit it as soon as i submit i don't want to do it because this is a real business okay i don't want to <laughs> i'm just using a website to demonstrate to my students i'm not placing any order as soon as i submit I get a message that thank you for placing your order your order will be processed and we will give, we will get in touch with you soon okay so how does this work now what this business is missing is the electronic commerce gateway let me show you i have a local website here that i created myself okay uae national games uh, it's a game-based learning system that i created and if anybody it's like an event event based system that i created and what happens is that let me go to the home page 
what people need to do is click on any of the games and select a game for example it's a family ladies games individual games special needs so what people need to do is they just need to pick a game for example keep guessing these are all educational games if you have a party you have an office event you have any kind of event you have you can so select these games and uh, you know uh, my company uh, the facility uh, will provide facilitators for these games and they will come to your location and they will play these games for you so it's like a, a, a team building collaboration building game uh, environment is created and it's educational at the same time and it's you mostly focus at college students who are you know who are having a hard time uh, transitioning between high school and uh, college so we create these games for them for example if I add to cart this is what's missing in crystals website okay continue shopping show cart now let me tell you this is something that I created myself I also work as a researcher and business developer for a company and I this is what I do I create e-business solutions for them and which is why I'm teaching this course I'm trying to tell you how to do it from scratch step by step so what I do is uh, this is this is something that was missing in Crystal's page. She would this was not a completely full fledged e-commerce website. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. This was not an e-commerce hundred percent e-commerce website. They, it was just limited to the collaboration. But to make it a full fledged e-commerce website, I'm trying to tell you the difference between electronic. Uh, bargaining and marketing and purchasing and electronic information sharing so this was something that brings the person to uh, order placement and then crystal would bid the cake and deliver or they would pick up and the money transaction would take place there through cash or check or whatever she accepts or card but in a business that accepts electronic payments on the web website itself looks like something like this they always have a shopping cart software installed with it do not worry about it you do not need to know any kind of programming but you need to be able to appreciate the level of e-commerce business you have this is the top level of e-commerce that you're you're looking at right now show my cart and this is the game that i've ordered okay and it's a, a, a 20 dirham game special notes and requests none click to read terms and conditions because if you don't click terms and conditions are also given you have to write these down okay terms and conditions for banking with UAE national games okay license and site access content all of this information has to be provided in an electronic commerce website all of this information check this out copyright site is protected visitors to our site please listen to all of this carefully because once i am back to my chapter the next topics in this course i will be referring to these websites again and again i will be telling you that remember we read that or i would show this to you again and again this is what i'm referring to so whatever concepts that you learn in the chapters would be directly demonstrated using the practical uh, part of this uh, the e-commerce so I go ahead and check out notice crystal didn't have any kind of checking out not no checking out just submit just submit order once I check out here I am taken to the must uh, uh, the payment gateway okay mix.mastercard.com this is outside the UAE national games this is a payment gateway we have entire chapter I think one or two chapters covering pay, payment gateway how are you going to make money online or people are going to come you know but, but still it defeats the purpose I think it's best to have everything online and supposing I have a visa card to pay and I have to enter my visa card details and I pay okay please take a look at this carefully this is the heart of your business okay the heart of an e-commerce business okay I am going to stop my lecture here and I'm going to continue in the next video and in the next video I'm going to start with the Wix.com uh, you know just begin to develop my own cake business idea in the UAE okay I'm going to write up, write up the name of the business 
the theme, the logo, everything. I'm going to start working on that with you. And in doing so, I will demonstrate how to use Bix.com. So just have a browser ready with Bix.com and let's talk about it more in the next lecture. Okay, take care. See you in the next lecture. Bye.